Rattray Marsh is the last remaining lakefront marsh between Toronto and Burlington, located on the north shore of Lake Ontario and is approximately 22 kilometers west of Toronto at the south side of the city of Mississauga. Today, Rattray Marsh covers approximately 94 acres of what used to be a much larger marsh and associated upland of about 148 acres. It was saved by citizen activism led by the tireless actions and inspiration of a University of Toronto professor called Ruth Hussey. The marsh was originally part of a larger estate belonging to Major James Rattray. Soon after he died in 1959, the land was inevitably purchased by a developer and a section of it was developed for houses. Rattray Marsh was officially opened to the public in 1975 and represents many things to its various visitors. Some remember how it was saved from the developer who planned to fill it in and build homes, while others remember it as a living classroom where they came for guided tours at school to learn about nature. In 1971, the Credit Valley Conservation Authority bought 24 acres of the marsh and the city and the Conservation Authority expropriated a further 57 acres in 1973 at the urging of Ruth Hussey. The marsh is an environmentally sensitive wetland and offers a different experience in diff different times of the year for all the nature lovers. Rattray Marsh is a home to a variety of wildlife and plants and a definite must-see for avid bird watchers, photographers and nature lovers. The Credit Valley Authority along with the local residents and other interest groups have implemented numerous trail upgrades in order to preserve the area's most sensitive features. Raised platforms allow for wider and higher pathways designed to keep visitors on the main trails and the natural areas undisturbed. The popular waterfront trail travels through the property, but there is no, repeat, no cycling allowed in the conservation area. Plant life is abundant and beautiful at the marsh. Rattray is home to a large variety of wildflowers which include Ontario's large flowered trillium, jack in the pulpit and red berried nightshade. There are also tree species including oak, birch, willow, hemlock, ash and maple. Although bird life at the marsh constantly changes throughout the seasons, bird watchers relish in sighting the ever-present wood warbler, eastern kingbirds, tree swallows, grey catbirds and spotted sandpipers. Wading birds delight in the marsh and the creek habitat of Rattray. Look for crown black night herons, green-backed herons, great blue herons during your visit. Wildlife within the marsh includes rabbits, beaver, deer, and occasionally foxes. Other animals include the vocal spring peeper, American toe, turtles, snakes, and regretfully coyotes. 